Ew. Hi guys, and welcome back to Reed's Readers with your host, Clinton Reed Britain. Um, I am changing that intro soon. Um, we are in a different location. I got my new bookcase set up here with some of my faves on it. And I thought this was like the perfect place to film at least TBR videos. So my TBRs are gonna be a little different now. Starting today, we are gonna start doing a wheel, which I've already filmed the spinning and stuff and I will cut them in. So please let me know if it feels a little jarring or anything like that. Anything feels a little weird or different with it. Comment all your thoughts down below. We're going to get into like a whole lot of messes. So first I'm going to go ahead and kick it off to me in front of the wheel. We're going to start that off with just explaining the new rules. To the wagon wheel want to be read. <laughs> if you don't get that reference. You just might not be gay enough. The, in the movie Burlesque, Cher is known for doing, for saying wagon wheel watusi and her like Cher accent. And when people do like impressions of her and stuff, wagon wheel watusi is one of her most common things. So I thought it would be brilliant. For wagon wheel, what to be read? <laughs> what to be read? That is like the worst share impersonation I could ever do. Do you believe in love after love after love? Whatever. So I'm going to kick it off just explaining the rules. And then we will go into from there. We'll do book club books to start with. And then I will do, we'll do a couple of cuts into me, spinning them all, and coming back and talking about the book. I will say the will shows a bunch of things that I wouldn't have picked up right this second. And that really makes me excited. So kick it to me in front of the wheel. Okay guys. This is the new Wagon Will Want To Be Read, Want To Be Read, <clears throat> um, Will that I created. I do believe there's at least 35 books on it that stem from this stack and down below there. And I think one or two are in the other room. I just wanted to tell you guys the rules of this wheel before I do some of the clips and stuff like that. So if it cuts, if the cutting is kind of weird, that is why. Because I'm going to edit these wheels and add like sound. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But I'm going to spin the wheel each month five times. And those are going to be the five books that I have to read. I'm a little overwhelmed by all the new purchases and gifts and things that have came in recently. So I'm going, I thought this will would be an amazing idea. I do like, I would like to thank Amanda and Amanda and a lot of the people that were in our comments talking with us as well. I don't remember who all was there, but it was mainly Amanda who helped push me to do this because she's doing a wheel this month in um, August for the Fiction Falls book club or the Fiction Falls Academy where we're reading that along with everybody. Um, and today is the... Um, movie watch along, neither here nor there. But I wanted to be able to show you guys this, give you a little overview. Amanda helped me with the idea. I lost the original wheel that I was using, so I ended up using this. And I love these pastel colors. They're very Care Bears and I love it. So <laughs> speaking of Care Bears, if nobody's seen my newest, acquisition but that's beside the point 
I just wanted to do a little explanation here. Explain the wheel. I have to read all five of these. These are my priority reads. And then my um, book club, my two book club books are priority reads. If I get to the other two, cool. If not, cool. And then I have buddy reads. If after I read these five, I can read any others that are on this wheel that didn't get come this month for projects. But my goal is to get, I have to at least get those five that I pull read. If I don't, whatever I don't get to has to roll over to the next month and add to those five. So if I would like to read Mood Read, <coughs> excuse me, and read whatever I want, I have to accomplish these first five. Does that make sense? Cool. So I'm gonna stop the video here and then I'm going then you're going to cut back into me in front of the bookcase talking and stuff like that. And we'll, I'm hoping this video makes sense as things go. So, see you in a second. And now we're back, and now we're back from the wheel. <laughs> I hope you guys liked that. Um, it's a little different. I like the pastels and stuff like that. I hope I explained the rules and everything clearly on that, but let's get into the four book clubs picks. We have Ba and Fiction Falls Academy, or Fiction Falls Book Club, both start in September, which I am a co-host of both, which down in all of my descriptions now will have the Instagrams for both Ba and Fiction Falls along with the Twitter page for Ba, if, for those who don't use, um, who doesn't use Instagram, along with my announcement for Ba, which explains all the rules and the co-hosts and the guest hosts and stuff like that, and Amanda's announcement for Fiction Falls, which explains all the stuff for Fiction Falls. So I hope you guys join us. And then the other two, I will always mention the Thrills and Chills book club pick and the Swoony Readers book club pick. If I can get to them, awesome. I, I still want to shine a light on these book clubs for those who want a bunch of picks. Because you've got Ba that's going to give you queer rom-coms. Then you've got Fiction Falls, which is going to give you fantasy, leaning more towards fantasy romance, probably. Or paranormal romance, because that's my personal fave. Then you've got thrillers with thrills and chills and just all around romance with swoony readers. So let's just get into our picks and the two books that I have to read this month for Ba. We are reading, uh, which Ba is Book Addicts Anonymous. I co-host that with Lori or I co-host that with Hope from It's Hope's Books and Lori from the Chatty Bookworm is joining us. And our pick for September is Not Quite Out by Louise Willingham. And our guest is Shay from, shockingly Shay reads, sorry, had to make sure I got your channel or your Instagram page perfectly. And we will be discussing this. Um, look on the Instagram and Twitter for all the announcements for live shows and stuff like that. But we are excited to kick it off with a book we never got to discuss because it's one of Hope's favorites. Not quite out. I don't know anything about it. I know this one is one of the ones that are least likely to be a rom-com. But we wanted to start off New Ba with something like this. And we chose it for Mel Mel representation. So a Killian representation. And Fiction Falls pick, which is Fiction Falls, I host with, I co-host with Amanda from Amanda's Booktopia. Wow, why did my brain take a moment on that? Which, like I said, her announcements linked in all of my descriptions from now on, from here on out. Um, and our pick for September, I'm super excited for is The Wren in the Holly Library by K.A. Lind Lindy, which is this gorgeous 
All I know is it's loosely a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Um, monsters took over the world. Um, main character's a thief. Breaks into a library and gets offered a deal. Kind of all I know and that's kind of all I want to know. And for those who would like to know, this is on Kindle Unlimited. We try to pick all of our picks if we can to try as many of them as we can to be on Kindle Unlimited for easier access for everybody. So that is our pick. So um, let me grab my binder. The Thrills and Chills group book is The September House by... Carissa Orlando, which I'm excited for. I don't physically own a copy. I'm going to try to get like an audiobook or an ebook version and attempt to get to that one. And then Swoony Readers has Until I Get You by Claire Contreras. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, oh, if you don't know what Thrills and Chills or Swoony Readers is, I will have them linked down below. Thrills and Chills is hosted by some of the ama most amazing people, Nikki from Nikki's Bookish Coven on Instagram and Dana from Dana Ella Reads here on YouTube and Instagram. And then Swoony Readers, both Nikki and Dana are part of that along with Karina from She Dreams and Words here on Instagram and on YouTube. And Kehlani from Kehlani Simply Me from both. Nikki used to have a channel and then she's doing her own thing. So those are their announcements. I actually am very interested in until I get you. So if I can get a hand on a version of that, I will. Because it's like a dark romance, but it's also hockey. I'm kind of intrigued. So I'm on cut here and we're going to do our first Wheel! Wagon! Wheel! What to be read? <laughs> I need to stop doing the laugh. Okay, guys. Let's do our first wheel spin. Official spin. Dark Moon Shallow Sea. Ooh. And as y'all saw, the wheel chose for me... Dark Moon, Shallow Sea by David R. Slayton. David R. Slayton wrote one of my all-time favorite series, which is the Adam Binder series, which the first one is White Trash Warlock. This is his first, like, I think it's his first foray into, like, high fantasy. So I don't know how well this one's going to go over with me. But I really love David R. Slayton's writing style, and I've been wanting to check it out. All I know is this was pitched as a queer... If I remember correctly, it was a queer game. It was a queer version of something. Um, you have... This is book one in the Gods of Night and Day series. When Phoebe, goddess of the moon, is killed by the knights of the sun god, Hyperion, by the sun god Hyperion, all who follow her are branded heretics. When Phoebe, with Phoebe gone, the souls of the dead are no longer ferried to the underworld, and instead linger on as shades who feast on the blood of the living. So kind of vampire-like, I'm assuming. Rafe, R-A-E-F, Rafe, I'm gonna say, is a child of the night. He lives in the shadows on scrapes, eking out a meager existence as a thief. Eking? But when in an ornate box is sequestered in the temple of Hyperion, the chance of a big score proves too great to resist. What he finds within propels him on an odyssey across the sea and back again, altering the course of his life forever. 
Seth is a knight of the sun, but unlike the others of his of this order, the fire of Hyperion only brings him pain. He believes he deserves his penance. Exacted for his unknowing origins. Tasked with recovering the contents of the box, Seth must vent also venture beyond the horizon if he is to learn the truth about himself. In a dying world divided by the greed of those in power, Rafe and Seth find their destinies intertwined and learn they might have more in common than they've ever imagined. I am so excited. This is a 2024 release, I do believe. No, a 2023 release. It was at towards the end of the year then. And I got it earlier this year. And I've been wanting to get to it. I just have never... It's one of those that was going to sit on my shelf until I was like in a fantasy mood. And now that I'm back in my fantasy aura, I'm so excited that this got pulled. Because I didn't know when I was actually going to get to it. So I threw it on the wheel. So happy. Thank you, Wagon Wheel. What do we read? And now... Back to the wheel. Okay, guys, let's do our second spin. You could be heroes. Ooh. And we just saw the wheel chose for me. We could be heroes by Philip Ellis. This is a debut, I do believe. This might be his debut. The Phillips debut. No, it doesn't say... No, not his debut. He's wrote Love and Other Scams. But this, all I know about this is that it involves a drag queen and a superhero. And that's kind of all I really want to know is We Could Be Heroes is an ode to queer joy and a romance that just might save the world. I have been wanting to get to this for a long time. I pre-ordered it earlier this year. Does it tell me when it came out this year? No, it just says 2024. I am so excited, and I just want to thank The Wheel for adding some queer joy to this month's TBR. We can never do wrong with some queer happiness. So, again, back to The Wheel. Okay, spin number three. Ooh, triple sack. I want to see if Lori wants to buddy read that next month. And speaking of queer joy, the will also selected You Saw Triple Sack by T.J. Alexander, which is an author I've been dying to check out. Um, I think I mentioned when the will came up to see if Lori wanted to... Buddy read this as well, and she does, so I will be buddy reading this with Lori at some point in September with a couple of her other buddy reads. All I know about this is this is a polyamorous representation. A jaded bartender is wooed by a charmingly quirky couple in this sizzling polyamorous rom-com set in a glamorous world of high-end cocktail bars. And the place, the bartender at Terror and Virtue, a swinking Manhattan cocktail lounge. I'm, I'm sold. It's queer. I'm always looking for poly representations because I want to see how well they are. And I've been dying to check out TJ Alexander. So I'm super happy that the wheel gave me this. You know? Should probably place the books over here. We 
Jesus. That way you guys can see the stack grow. I'm new to filming in this corner with the new shelf and stuff, so bear with my guys. So, again, back to Wagon Wheel with to be rich. Oops, sorry, I hit the thing. Number four. The Perfect Girl. Ooh, a thriller. Ooh. And The Wheel decided to give me a thriller this month. And that will be The Perfect Girl by Jilly Macmillan. I originally bought this because I thought it was the same author of another book I read. And that is Jillian McAllister. So, not the same one. Um, all I know about The Perfect Girl is it's, a, it's about a 17-year-old musical prodigy with a genius IQ. Three years ago, she was involved in a tragic incident that left three classmates dead. She served her time and now her mother has resolved to keep the devastating fact tucked far away from their new beginning. Um, she's giving a recital that she's been planning for months. And her mom died. In the aftermath, everyone, the police, family, former solicitators and stuff, tries to piece together what happens. So, I'm excited for a thriller. <laughs> Just in case I don't get to the October house, it would be nice to have a thriller to break up some of the crying and cuteness and fantasy of the month. So thank you, wheel. So back to the wagon wheel uh, to be read for our final spin. And our final spin. Oh, it wants me to have all my heart shattered because the buddy reads I'm doing next month. So forever right now. Yay! And you saw, guys, my final spin got me Forever Right Now by Emma Scott, which was a book that was kindly gifted to me from Amanda, which is a bad fitting. And Amanda said she bawled her eyes out on this. The only reason why I've been wanting to read this is I read Sunday Someday by Emma Scott, and... One of the main characters in that is a side character in this. And this follows a Darlene and Sawyer. And I know they made an appearance at the end of Someday Someday. And I really liked their characters, so I've been wanting to check them out. But I know, I'm, I'm pretty sure Amanda said she bawled her eyes out. So... And it's a single dad trope. That's really all I know. And I know I'm probably going to be crying. So. Sorry. So, yay. Now those are the five picks from the wheel that I must read. These and my two book club books are my priority this month. If these are the only seven books I get to this month. Cool. But let's go into some buddy reads next. Um, We're gonna start off with the Abby Jimenez read along is starting in September. Hosted by, I know Dana, Kaylani, and Karina are part of it, and two other booktubers, who I will have linked down below one of the announcements, so you can go check all of that. They are starting with the backlist, and this is the series that I have not read from Abby Jimenez, but re I just finished Just for the Summer a couple of days ago, and I need it. I need more Abby in my life. So we're starting off with the friend zone. And I know the guy in this is a cousin 
of one of the characters in her part of your world series. And I just love Easter eggs. So I'm reading this along with all of them. Um, I know that Amanda and Sam, Amanda will be reading this for the first time. Sam from Sam's Book is Faves. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Know where that came from. Sam from Sam's Book is Faves, which I'll have her linked down below as well, asked me to buddy read this with her so we can prepare for book two coming out. Neither one of us are ready to read this just yet. I don't know which edition I'm going to read. I have multiple. Amanda's going to be reading this for the very first time. And I do believe Lori from the Char Chatty Bookworm, who's already linked down below, is joining us for this. So we will be reading Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. Me and Sam and Lori don't know if we're mentally prepared to have our stuff shattered all over again. But we're so ready for Promise Me Not to come out at the beginning of October. That we need this now in our lives. So we will be everybody reading Say You Swear. I'm not going to tell you what Say You Swear. Or we'll say this a little part at the top. Her brother's best friend broke her heart. But what happens when his new teammate wants to put it back together? I will just say this has my favorite book husband of all time in it. Just Noah is... We have book boyfriends. This is a book husband. And if you know, you know, and you cannot tell me otherwise. Um, speaking of buddy reads, me and Dana are doing our rereads of all of the Karen and McManus books. This month, we're supposed to read Such Charming Liars. That's going to be my next physical read, so I can get that knocked out. But we will be reading Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen and McManus in the month of September. I also need to check Dana. We're still doing this, right? As far as I know, we're still doing it. But this one... Follows, I do believe this is the one that follows the twins. In a small town. Yes. So it's one of my, I want to reread it because I kind of want to really know once I've read all of them and rank them. So I'm excited for some more Karen and McManus love. Now, if I get all my buddy reads, which we have two that I do not physically own, um, Lori and I are going to be, oh my God, I misspelled something. Sorry. Oh, CD. Lori and I are going to be buddy reading the next in the Haley Turner second Soulbound World which is Secondhand Skin, which comes out in September. So I don't physically have a copy just yet, but I will. It is Wade's book, both of ours favorite character outside of the main love interests. We are so excited for this dragon shifter romance. And then I know a bunch of the girls, I don't know who's all reading it, but I know a bunch of the girls are reading Quicksilver by Callie Hart. So if I have time, I'll read it in September. If not, I'll read it in October because I kind of want to know what the hype is on that book as well. And then I have three series or three author thingies that I am trying to make my way through. Megan Brandy being added to that list. I'm going to try to squeeze in another Megan Brandy that, this month as well. But the three main projects that I am working on this month, I am starting the Twisted Tales series. I am, um, after I finish the group book, the next one I'm doing is the first one for this so that I can keep a track of this, a whole new world. But in September, we will be 
I will be reading Once Upon a Dream, which is What If Sleeping Beauty Never Wakes Up or Woke Up. I am trying to do this for me now that I've caught up on the Percy world, minus one that comes out in September. I am starting this world because we own all the books that are out in America. There are two that we need to get our hands on. And we're trying to get our hands on the Australian covers. So if you guys know any ways of like Australian distribution places that will ship to the US, let me know. But yeah. Um, I'm also gonna be making my way through the Jim Butcher Dresden Files world. In August, I read Stormfront. So in September, I will be reading Full Moon. For those who don't know, this first book has the first three books in it. We own the first nine in these four hardbacks. Each of the next three only have two in each. So I will be continuing on with this series. And I am trying to wrap up Elle Kennedy and read a lot more of her. So I figured I needed some type more cutesy romance to throw in. I'm going to try to finish this series because I want to read all the books that are set in this universe. So I want to finish out the Off Campus series. So I'm going to read book three in September and that is The Score. Which this one just follows Allie and Dean, which I'm excited for. I know next month, I know October will be the goal. November will be Legacy. And then I might take December off. Did I? Yes, I'm going to take December off. And then January, I'm going to start the Briar U series. Once I read that, I'm going to read the Off Campus series. And then there's a few others by L. Kennedy I would like to read that are not in this universe, but have matching kind of covers. And then once I'm done with L. Kennedy, I'm going to start my Serena Bowen journey. Because this month I read... Good Boy by L. Kennedy and Serena Bowen. And I realized I want more hockey romance. And I'm going to be doing at least one hockey romance every month until I'm done with L. Kennedy and Serena Bowen. So, yeah. So that is my TBR for September. Um, comment down below if you're joining in the book clubs. Um, also, let me know what your thoughts was on the wheel. I hope you guys liked how I filmed it. If not, just comment down below and let me know all the, your thoughts. If you found a better way of cutting it and filming it and blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blahs in my brain can't think words. But I will have my lovely co-hosts. Hope, Lori, and Amanda will be linked down below, along with Sam, and then I will link the Thrills and Chills and the Swoony Readers. At least their Instagram pages down below, because I don't want to put too much in the description. Um, I will also link Dana down below for the... because that... And I will link also one of the other two women's... Um, Abby Jimenez read-alongs, and I will learn their names as we do this. <laughs> I'm just bad with names unless I talk with you a lot. So, and I don't know these girls just yet, but we will be getting to know each other. Great, because I'll be doing Lee, all the Abby Jimenez, because I don't mind rereading so that we can read the new one. I want to be destroyed, apparently. Between forever right now, the friend zone and say you swear and I may squeeze on another mega brandy this month so I can complete that project soon. It gonna be a heavy September. 
But like I said, comment all your thoughts down below. Have you read any of these books? Let me know. Are there any on here you would like me to prioritize first? So that's all I've got for you guys. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you're new, hit that subscribe. And for now, my ending is still always be fabulously yourself. Uh, bye!